All right. I forgot to show method of three. Hello, everybody. Okay. Uh, I work using similar triangles. Uh, three is uh, three is class activity. Maybe I should probably go that room. Yeah, I can use so it. So I have three I use I have a similar triangle. Three is really the same as this. Separate. Otherwise, you stand in times like all inaccessible heights and things like that. Right. Shadow using similar triangles. Properties you can determine the value of the tree. You go down the building. Three class separate. And if you can get out of with a measuring tape and a mirror and stuff like that, like that to quite often, often do the activity because you have a, a known height way of checking your knowledge and knowing that you could use the information. Um, you could measure the case scenario the shadow, you follow along and then pass your history like one of the measures of a file when it all done, something like that. Um, but but that here's the question. So this time, you know, you can imagine being if you're a column and then you can measure it. Yes, you can have. All right, um, so like here we go. I have two, for example, one of the classic ways of the known light was to do sort of stand so that uh, your on the top of your shadow so lines up the top of the, the base of the light shadow, shadow type of base of the um, And so, in order to you have measurements like the you know, from within yours, you wear you are to the tip of the, the shadow as well, and black has a full. Either all tree is shadow, shadow or shadow, you have a meter stick, and so you have a one meter similar triangle. And it's like the shadow of the triangles, and then it's measurable like your height. And I'm it's a known height here. Um, and it's a known height that you don't know. Three right, types of here to set up the similar triangles, triangles that are actually like, by the way, together. We're going to be talking about our shadow, how we know they're similar. The, uh, the mirror, we think it's two triangles laser. Um, so we met as red, the two separate triangles. So here, as one of the triangles. And the other one, I want to do triangle, obviously. Hopefully, I managed to merge these together. The bigger. Same shape, so therefore, so next time. Time. Um, and there's certain information required to guarantee that triangles are similar. We'll get to that soon. Uh, but for here, for now, we can just say, well, we're looking for the height of the tree. So that's the unknown right there. Um, and so if we went height of the tree over, say, the base of the big blue triangle, so number three, then you could do the known height of the person, number two over the distance to the shadow tip from the person. Obviously, all those numbers are known. You can just solve for the missing piece, right? So here's a number example from a previous class I've done. And uh, so in this case here, you'd be saying, OK, well, I want to know this height. So the color might work good for this. So the height we're looking for of the building, kind of hard to measure that. Uh, we're not allowed to go up the roof and dangle a string or something, you know, stuff like that. Uh, so each uh, over. Now notice here, if I wanted to do over the base, the way the students measured this, they measured uh, in two parts. So they measured from there uh, the building to the person was 8.4 meters, and then from there to there. And so what would the students have had to have done to set up a, a set of triangle size for a ratio here? Press pause, try to figure it out, whatever. Um, and then hopefully resume here and think, okay, well, I'd have to combine those, right? And so I would put this as the height of the building over the combined distance here, the 2.4 plus the 8.4. Well, so it fits. Um, and then we do the height of the person uh, over the distance, the height of the person over the distance of just that, right? So the 1.8 meters to the 2.4. And so in that scenario there, you could add those numbers together, 8.4 and 2.4 is obviously 10.8. So you multiply both sides by the And so this is obviously 10.8. Multiply both sides by 10.8. And you get <clears throat> that cancel out. You have the height that we're looking for the building being 1.8 times 10.8. I have about 2.4, so yes, 8.1. Right, I guess. I don't know if the scale is actually right there or not, to be honest, but uh, yeah, but that's it. Okay. So, start the height. So, you know, the, one of the things I've had in the, in the lesson was, you know, to get you to try and get you to think of math or see math in the world around you. So, if you see this picture, what could you do? 
right? Well, if you, if you did know the height of this tree because you know you were there when they put it up and it was like sideways, you measured it or whatever, um, and then you have shadow lengths of the tree and the shadow of the very top of the building, you know, you could you could figure out the, the height of the top of that building, which would be kind of hard to think about rise, right? But the math we know will allow that to us to do, right? So there's you know. Here's another way to do this. So obviously we could just look at the two shadows. It might be kind of hard to find the, the shadow of that building if you're searching through the, the neighborhoods or the, the grounds around the building. Um, and the uh, so here's another method that could work. If you had a mirror with you, you put a mirror on the ground, or maybe there's a puddle on the ground, you use it as a reflective surface. Um, puddles work actually better because then they're perfectly level, right? But anyways, if you did. And you set the mirror and then you move the back until you could look in the mirror and see the top of the building. You actually set up two similar triangles. And so you set up two similar triangles there. Let's label these as number one, number two, number three, and number right. Okay, so if we have those are similar triangles, and it should be pretty obvious that you got the height of the, the building. We could do it this way, make it more obvious, I suppose, we could height of the building or height of the person. So height over number one, and then obviously the big triangle for the building would be height, you know, height of the building, and then the other one that would be on this triangle would be number three. For the number two. And again, you could multiply so size by number one and solve for each. Right? So that's a, a mirror version, which is kind of different. Here's a number example from my class. And so I did the work here have is unknown basketball rim height. So unknown basketball height uh, over what? Well, we could do over the other height, or we could do over the bottom triangle here. Right. So if we did height over bottom, we do the other height over bottom. In which case, we're not playing both sides of 14 and 14. Yeah, so we're not out, leaving us with just the point that we're looking for. And so you can check, you do 6 times the 14.2 divided by, divided by uh, 8.5. And that will give us 10.0 or something or other, right? Rounding close. So the uh, you know the confirming the height of the basketball net supposed to be like ten feet, right? So that's very good. We know it's the right height and so on. Truthfully, that made up the numbers, but you know you get you get to do a process like this. Um, so some of them are more realistic. It's very doable, obviously. Um, here, you know, a picture that just the math that would go along with this is it realistic to actually you know measure the height of a cliff with ship or rock and so on? Maybe not, but the math certainly would still work. All right. So your work to practice and submit on these ones, they're all that same idea. Um, keep in mind, you know, your, your, when you're trying to figure out similarity to the triangles, you've got to try and figure out which side is which here. So for this one here, if you said A, B, you did a triangle A, B, E, right? So A, B, E, right? Starting at the 90 degree, going around the long tip to the middle, looks like we go, uh, C, D, E, right? Similar triangle, C, D, E. That one, so you could line them up with it like we did in previous lessons and so on. Um, yeah. So as long as you can identify sort of which, which sides correspond to which, you can just go ahead and do the normal similar triangle work. Right? Hopefully that helps. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, yeah, good luck. Okay, see you.